happy Saturday you guys I am up getting ready to run a few errands today I got babe on the phone say hi babe hi babe <laughs> say hi what's going on hello good morning oh god babe is on his way home know. right babe is on his way home um he'll be here I guess later on sometime today uh, right now I gotta go to the vinyl store I also have to uh, deliver this basket that uh, well it's I guess it's a wine basket babe did I show you my basket I made or put together I've seen, seen it on Facebook oh yeah there it is just got a few treats in it I feel like it's missing like something like a trinket or something I'm not sure yeah, something yeah, something's missing, so I don't want to take it just yet. While I'm out, I'm going to find um, a few things or maybe something that I can add, like right in here or something. Maybe like some wine toppers or something like that. But anyways, I'm in this group on Facebook. Don't tiptoe around. Um, called you've I've been wined and basically what it is is um, you submit like your name address and things that you like as far as what type of wine red sweet whatever um, like the snacks that you also like and you know basically whoever gets your name you um, would put all of their favorite snacks and um, a bottle of wine in the basket whoever's name you get and then you take it to their home address and just leave it on their door take a picture and post it on facebook and then that person will know that they've been wined so that's what i'm doing today um i'm gonna get this done and out but like i said i gotta go to the vinyl store and um just grab a few um things of vinyl i'm gonna take amari with me and um braxton and we're gonna go to run our little errands so that we'll get back um in a good amount of time because it's actually they actually close at like uh two and it's already like 12 something so i will be back you guys hi guys i'm out in these streets and the traffic is real i just left home goods I went to get the car wash. Where else did I go? Oh, I went to the vinyl store. I was able to go to the vinyl store. I made it just in time before they closed. And um, I feel like we left at like 12 something and it's 4 o'clock. Like literally my whole time has been sitting at lights behind cars in traffic. It literally takes me about... 20 minutes to get to the freeway from my house literally like we live so far away from a freeway it's sad and that's the one thing i hate living where we live um, i'm gonna go deliver this basket because i really want to get that done and scratch that off the list so that i can move on to the next and it's four o'clock and any minute babe could call me and say hey i'm ready to be picked up literally uh i took off work yesterday because i really needed like a break i needed a mental check or a mental break and i did that but having the entire time um all day yesterday this morning i had to get up at like 6 15 because amari had a 6 45 appointment to get his hair cut then i turned around and babe called to wake me up at 8 30 because I'm already had training, but I just couldn't get up. I'm tired. And then literally I've been gone all day. So right now I am going to just go home and um, get the basket together, like I said, and then relax for the rest of the day until babe um, wants me to come. Pick. All right guys, so I ended up getting this little popcorn. It's like pink and blue pastel colors really cute and i got this um tommy bahama maui mango candle this candle smells so good you guys it smells beautiful and it just came in that in that it's really a heavy scented candle but it smells amazing i know for sure she will love it 
Um, so I got that. And I think everything that I got today will just tie everything together and complete the basket so that it's ready to go. And I got these little things to tie around the top um, with the cellophane wrap. So we're ready to go, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff in here because I felt like it was just missing something, which is kind of full, but still was missing something. So I'm gonna put this stuff in here some type of way and then I'll show you guys once it's done. All right guys, so I am done putting everything in there. I think it looks really cute. And I decided to just put one glass instead of two because there's really no other spot. And I was seeing a lot of baskets that only have one glass. So hopefully uh, she will like it. But I think it turned out really pretty. I'm going to just wrap it around with the cellophane and then um, tie it all up and then get it to her. All right, guys. So this is it. I am completely done getting ready to take her basket. I put you've been wined and this is the note. And that's that. And I just kind of put a little clip on the end and let it hang there. I think it turned out really cute. It had everything that I felt like it needed to make it complete. Now I'm excited to go and get it to her so that she can finally enjoy. Super excited. Hey guys. So I'm at the doctor's office, well at the ER. I've been having like some chest pain and like some tingling in my fingers. And yesterday, um, while I was at home, I kept smelling like, like maybe like sulfur or like gas or like, not gas, it's more like rotten egg almost like how the shower smelled before they fixed it and it was very very strong <clears throat> and um nobody else smelt it i was the only one in the entire house who was smelling it and it was so strong you guys so that kind of worried me so i decided to come here today because <clears throat> my chest was hurting on friday <coughs> <clears throat> on Friday and then um, today it started to like hurt a little bit more um, or it started to bother me again and so I was like you know what let me just go ahead and go to the ER get checked out and hopefully nothing is really wrong and then I also kind of feel like I'm catching a cold or getting sick because I've been having like a little cough <clears throat> my nose has been running and my temperature is 99 right now so I don't know they did an EKG and they're doing some tests with my blood for heart they're gonna give me an aspirin in just a minute we'll see how things go I'll let you guys know plus Maya is here because she's having problems with her breathing for asthma because she has asthma she's out on albuterol so we have to get her more of that so we're just all over the place Hopefully everything works out, but I'll keep you guys updated once I find out, okay? Keep our hands crossed. Hi guys, happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, you guys. So, we made it out of the hospital. Everybody is fine. Nobody has COVID. Um, I was um, checked for my heart. Everything turned out okay, x-ray okay, labs okay. Um, but he is sending me to a neurologist um, for to see a specialist. Um, so I guess I'll call and schedule something or they'll call me, I don't know. But um, I think it's a good idea to go check things out. Um, you know, just to make sure, you guys, because there's a lot of things or a lot of times we have signs um, and then we don't take them um, seriously. And then all of a sudden something happens and our body was trying to tell us ahead of time, but we just ignored or didn't 
pay attention or look further into. Kind of happened to my mom. She had a stroke when she was exactly my age and now that's why my antennas are like completely up because I'm like, okay, my mother had a stroke at my age and I don't want that to happen to me. Um, even though my mom is okay, she's doing, you know, okay. It changed her life completely. And um, my dad also had a stroke. So I had both parents on both sides both had strokes so I do tell everybody and anybody to make sure you you know check it doesn't hurt um, to just go ahead and see if, if there's anything really going on when you feel like your body is telling you something that's the one thing I do want people to understand is to get checked when you have signs and symptoms even if you feel like, oh, I don't know, I don't need to go, or I don't feel like going to the doctor. Make an appointment with your primary care doctor if you don't want to go to the ER, because to be honest with you, sitting in the ER is not fun, it's not, you feel gross, and there's, there's so many germs, but go somewhere. So I wanted to tell you guys that. Maya ended up getting a breathing treatment because she really do have asthma pretty bad. She had it really bad as a kid when she was younger. Um, and she um, was having a hard time breathing yesterday. She also was having um, chest pain and um, a lot, a lot of coughing. Um, even though I didn't suspect it to be COVID, I mean, you always, I mean, if they offering to get checked, why not? Because when you work with people you um basically i think it's good to get tested just because you know you never know if you're exposed especially if you have signs and symptoms of that as well but everything turned out okay with her everything turned out okay with michaela um everything turned out okay with me i guess we just have some type of cold or bug that's going around they gave me two days off, y'all, and let me tell you, let me tell you, I woke up this morning like, oh, I can sure use them days off, but I ain't going to do it. I'm going to be a good employee and take my butt to work. Um, so that's where I'm headed now, you guys. I'm headed to work. I just dropped off Amari and Braxton. They are at school. And um, now I'm headed to work. Babe is in Florida. We were on the phone um, like six hours. And I hung up the phone because I needed to call Michaela. Then I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys for a minute because I wanted you guys to know or just give you guys an update on what was going on um, with me and the girls last night. Even though I didn't show you guys, but they were there, okay? Michaela had a temperature, you guys, of 100.5, but she's fine. She doesn't have COVID, so I just think it's whatever's going around. Like, Mari's been sick. I've been sick. Um, oh, you guys, there was a lady in the, in, the, in the room or in the emergency room, excuse me, and, um, she was like in a wheelchair they have wheelchair in and you guys know you can't have like your family members inside of the hospital with you they basically can drop you off and from there you go so she was in there and she was like in her little wheelchair sitting next to me it was like one chair um between us and it was like she was trying to hold in her cries or tears or whatever or basically her sound of crying she was like oh, like it was so low so sweet and subtle and um it was i guess it was a time when she couldn't take it no more she just was like oh. and i felt so bad i was like are you okay and i'm like i know she's in a hospital right now but i could not help but to ask her if she was okay and she looked and she said no I can't look at it and I'm like well, look at what like I don't know I didn't know what she was talking about and then 
she looked down and she was like, I can't look at it. And I'm like thinking it was her stomach. I didn't see any blood or anything. And so she pulled her jacket back and her wrist was like hanging. Oh my God, I felt so bad for this woman. She was in so much pain and she sat there for at least 30 minutes waiting for her turn. It wasn't even full, but I was like, oh my God, they should give you medicine or something like something so that you're not here just in horrible pain. She just kept crying. She was like, oh my God, I just saw it. Oh my God. And then she started crying even more, you guys. So I said, do you want me to hold your hand? She was like, yes, please. And I held her hand and she was so thankful. She was so thankful. Like, I know I was there for myself, but for something like that, I would have lost my everlasting mind being there without my family, my kids, my husband, somebody, you know, and she was alone, nobody to comfort her because I am a wimp when it comes to um, pain and things like that. I would have just been no good for nobody. She was a champ though because she was in pain. She was crying, but she wasn't screaming at the top of her lungs like somebody was actually cutting it off because that's what I would have been actually doing. So anyways, it was, it was, um, it was quite a show inside of the um, emergency room. It's just, um, it's not funny, but it was another lady. I got to tell you guys this really quick. Now I'm gonna get off of here. There was this other lady. She's a little old lady. Had to be in her 80s. And she was sitting in, um, in the um, room, in the waiting room. And she was saying um, to the people, I've been coughing for three weeks and it won't go away. And I'm tired. I'm just tired. It's making me tired. So they were like, okay, you know, they had her sitting down. And she was kind of just sitting, waiting her turn, like, head just like nodding away her phone rang i don't know it had to be like a family member or a friend and she goes i'm in the waiting room stop calling me leave me alone i'm at the doctor i mean she went off okay i was like oh she got a voice on her she was so irritated you guys that somebody called her i don't know what they were calling her for they had asked her a question that ticked her off but it felt like to me she was just irritated that she got a call and she was at the hospital in the waiting room like leave her alone let her be in peace basically let her get through this in peace <laughs> she was so mad it was it was it was cute to see her because i felt bad for her as well like she's like i just been coughing and it won't stop <clears throat> Look at me coughing. You guys. I don't know. I thought I'd share that experience with you guys this morning. Normally I have Michaela to talk to or babe on my way to work, but I don't have either one of those them today. So I figured I'd come on and talk to you guys. Um I brought some Robotessa with me this morning um to take um but I gotta read it actually because it's the Robitussin DM. Oh, I should have stopped to get me some throat lozenges while I was. I don't have to be to work for another 30 minutes, you guys. So I gotta think if I'm gonna go to the store. I don't know. I don't know, but I have been having a nasty cough too. Um. Anyways, you guys, I've been talking to you guys for a whole 10 minutes, okay? So I am getting ready to pull up to work. I hope you guys have a fantastic uh, Tuesday. And I uh, will see you guys later. Thanks for listening. I'll see you guys in a bit.